Live from 42nd and 2nd, this is New York's very own PIX11 News at 5. All right, when we come back tonight, nurses are doing some amazing work, but it's not all taking place in the hospitals. We meet a couple of home nurses helping people continue to recover after their discharge. Yeah, plus, spending so much time in isolation can be tough on one's mental health. Even worse, it can make things tougher for addicts trying to stay on the wagon. We'll explain coming up. All right, coming up tonight, it's an important step in the recovery process. Nurses working with patients at home, still weak from battling COVID-19, but some fear that work is putting them and their families at greater risk. Yeah, plus the way we live right now, putting a strain on everyone's mental health. Up next, how the situation could actually create new addicts. We're going to show you ways uh, to cope. Yeah. All right, uh, right now, we're all supposed to be staying home to prevent spreading of this virus, but... Uh, for some nurses, their job is going into other people's homes. Yeah, and they're helping COVID-19 patients continue their recovery after being discharged. As PIX11's Jennifer Bizarum reports, many love what they do, but they're also concerned about the risk to themselves and, of course, to their families. Hi there. We continue to see nurses on the front lines, but now we're hearing from two who go into homes every day to care for COVID-19 patients. Caring for COVID-19 patients coming home. I have to say that every day that a patient comes home to home care, I do a high five. 58 year old Ruth Caballero is a nurse with Visiting Nurse Service of New York. She's been caring for patients discharged from the hospital and in their homes for 20 years. These days, she's been helping patients recover from the coronavirus, and it starts even before she walks through their doors. I have on all the PPEs. The, the gown, the hair mask, the, the two face masks, the gloves, uh, the foot cover. The patients are very debilitated. They're very weak. The Harlem mother of three says she does worry about spreading the virus to her own family, but she takes every precaution when she gets home. I do have a fear of, of bringing... Um... Uh, COVID-19 home to my family. 43-year-old Gregory Fargus, who's also a home care nurse with Visiting Nurse Service of New York, has fears too, but says... I am a nurse and that's my role. The Brooklyn father of two has been seeing about four COVID-19 patients a day at their homes. They have not been fully recovered. Uh, uh, a lot of them uh, come home and they, they do have fevers. Uh, they are fatigued. Most of the at-home patients are chronically ill, frail, elderly, disabled, or too sick or weak to leave their homes, especially the ones recovering from COVID-19. And that's where these home health care heroes come in day after day. The rewarding thing about it is that you, you, you get to see the patient from beginning to end. Even though they're positive, um, to me, they're, you know, they, they are exceptional because they've survived. And these home health care heroes continue to put their health on the line for these patients every and they say they won't stop because it's the spirit of what they do and the spirit of New York. In Midtown Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News. Jennifer, thank you so much. All right, let's check in.